Hello and welcome back. Recently there has been a spike in UFO videos. I think in part due to the Pentagon releasing those videos. You know the ones. Personally, I love the idea of aliens coming to Earth. However, I do not think that they have. Stick around until the end and I'll give you an explanation of why that is. In the video today, we're going to be visiting one of my favourite UFO researchers, Gina Maria Colvin Hill, or GMCH for short, and look at her astounding proof of UFOs here at Earth and in space. Enjoy. Hello. Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Well, hello there, Gina. That was so lovely. I almost feel bad for what I'm about to do. Uh, what we're looking at is a long white UFO ship that was captured in the eastern sky at 641 a.m. on July the 13th, 2020 in Henryville, Indiana by me. This really is a lovely capture of a sunrise, but you may need to highlight what you speak of. I can see a plane in the center and some industrial smoke, but nothing that could be considered a UFO. As you can see now, two of them have appeared in the sky. Oh, you mean those planes? Well, the contrails of the planes. And for those of who say that, you know, it's an airplane, well, let's just zoom up a tad bit. Thanks for that. Now we can see the plane. That's not an airplane. Okay, and I can go straight across here. And we can see that this is not an airplane either. While in this image it does not look like a plane, I can assure you that it is. Contrails are often shorter at sunrise and are often mistaken for UFOs. So we can shrink this back down. Okay, here we have um, another image of the two white, long white UFOs that were in the eastern sky of Henryville, Indiana. Um, and as you can see up here, this is what it looks close up. Okay. Don't look like a plane to me. Well, no. You showed us a close up of it earlier, and it looked very different. I don't know what you use to zoom in and alter images. As you can see, I've simply zoomed in this times 10, and it still resembles the original, yet yours has removed all of these dark artifacts. Okay, here we're looking at another image of the long white UFO ship, right here, sorry about that, and over here, and you can see down here uh, that I have a normal uh, image of it, and also in the edge detect. Edge Detect is a useless tool for analyzing distant objects that are causing reflections, as it only detects variations in brightness. Hell, it's barely useful for close solid objects, and it most certainly should not be used on any form of video. Given that a digital video camera typically records in 30 frames a second, and given that the typical cruise speed of a 737 is about 930 kilometers an hour, then the plane would move about 155 meters in the time it takes to record one frame. Take into account the distance to the object, then you get a stretching effect of that distant object by several pixels. And it does not look like an airplane, okay? And I'm getting ready to show you um, what the airplanes look like in Edge Detect and also rockets. Okay, here we have an airplane, and we have a rocket. Do I really need to point out that these objects are well detailed and they are nice and close and probably shot by a professional photographer? Here we have the long white UFO ship. It doesn't look too white, but it was white. And we have it in the normal mode, and then we have it also in the edge detect. 
Well, this airplane just so happens to be in the edge detect, and so does this rocket. Now, this right here, it has a very identifying feature, a line, dark shadowy line in the center of it. In your image, the plane is about 10 pixels long. What detail do you hope to see? The white or light parts that you can see is a contrail. Uh, this doesn't have it, uh, nor does this. This right here has a, a fin that sticks up. This doesn't have a fin that sticks up. On the zoomed image, you can see the tail fit. It's the green circle on top and to the left. Yes, the left. The one on the right is an artifact I used to highlight that. It's a different image. Pay attention. Um, it doesn't have a pointy nose like that. Uh, okay, so it doesn't look like an airplane. The nose is only one pixel. One. And here's a rocket. Well, a rocket looks more close to that, but I don't think we have rockets flying around in the sky up there. I really don't think we do. Uh, so I don't think that this was a rocket either, okay? So it's not an airplane and it's not a rocket. Well, you're half correct. It's not a rocket. This is a UFO. It was a UFO. Now it is identified. Does that make it an IFO? Wait, no, that's just dumb. We identified it as a plane. So we just call it a plane. Duh. And it's not just any UFO. It's the same type of UFOs that I have been documenting. You may say, what do you mean documenting? Oh. No, I wouldn't say that. I've seen what you mean and debunked that already. Hell, I would have done the bird UFO video too, but so many people covered that that I didn't really feel the need to. This is the telltale sign right here. Just like this. And for those of you who may not know, these are what the ships that I document, that I capture with my iPhone 8, my clip-on lens that I have for two years now. The problem is that you're using an iPhone for one? You may now dislike this video. This is what they look like right here. All I see is some really bad image artifacts, as well as the severely out of focus image that has been run through more filters than an Instagram model. These are also the same ships that are captured on the UV-284, a product by NASA. Well, no. This is the footage from UV-284. EUVI stands for Extreme Ultraviolet Imager using the 284 angstrom filter. As stated in an earlier video, an angstrom is what is used to measure light. One angstrom is about the size of two hydrogen atoms. See this right here? Look down here. Looks just like them. Just like that. Without seeing the full original unedited image, this just looks like one of those Google Deep Dream images. So what I'm saying is that we have UFOs, long white UFO ships, flying around in our skies. Some can see them, some cannot. Does that mean they do not exist? By no means. It does not mean that. I'm telling you right now, those long white UFO ships exist. Technically, you are right, but they're simply planes. And it's not going to be long before... A lot more people start seeing them and you start hearing about them in the news outlets, the news media outlets. Uh, so with that being said, I want to thank you for watching this video and please, uh, please give this video a thumbs up to help generate it, to help recommend it to other people because we need to awaken as many people as we can. Thank you. You are most welcome. And thank you for providing me with an excuse to let people know why aliens have no reason to come to Earth.
We always see it in Hollywood movies and TV shows. Aliens come to Earth to steal our resources. That simply wouldn't happen. There are far more resources in the asteroid belt, Kuiper belt, and Oort cloud to keep any aliens from stealing anything for hundreds of thousands of years. Yeah, they came to study us. I hear you cry. Cool. Why? And why would they need to be covert about it? And it's not like the people claiming to have been abducted are the pinnacle of humanity. I love the idea of aliens coming to Earth. I really do. It's just not happening anytime soon. Thank you all so much for watching and sticking around to the end. As always, a special thanks to the Acolyte and Above tier patrons, Purple Haze and Pyramid Head. And to you, dear viewer, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll do it all again soon. Until then, don't be a dick. Good night.